Okay, so first let's start out with the grip. You're going to take your dominant hand, so for me that's my right hand, and you're going to take the thumb of your dominant hand and you're going to place it directly to the left of the bottom right corner of the deck, which is here. So you don't want to place it on top of the corner, you want to place it directly to the left so that this edge of your thumb is flush with the other corner. Now you also don't want um, your thumb to be too far over the edge like this, but you don't want it to be too short like this. You want it to be about two or three millimeters over this edge, so this will allow you to shoot the cards out later on. Okay, so that's where you place your thumb. For the rest of your fingers, you're gonna place your pointer, your middle, and your ring across this top edge of the deck. You don't want them to be straight up and down like this, but rather diagonal. And you're gonna make sure that they're diagonal in such a way that your pointer finger, similarly to your thumb, is only hanging over the edge by one or two millimeters. Your middle finger is about um, hanging over the deck at right about the first joint, then your ring finger is hanging over the deck a few millimeters over the first joint. Okay, now your pinky isn't really doing anything, it's just square with the rest of your fingers. You don't want it to be hanging off like this, you just want to make sure all these fingers are side by side. Okay, so that is how you grip the deck, and now I will show you how to spring the cards. Now the actual springing of the cards is where a lot of people do this move incorrectly. Um, the most important thing to remember is that when you're springing the cards, you're shooting them off your thumb, like so. Not off um, these three fingers up here, it's not like this. It's coming off your thumb. Okay, and now to actually do the spring, you're going to hold the deck in the way which I just showed you. And you're going to put a bend in the cards like this by squeezing with these fingers and your thumb. And because there's less support on the side because there's only one finger, you're going to squeeze and make sure the cards are released from the thumb, not from these fingers. You're going to keep squeezing until one card comes over the edge, and then the rest will just follow like this. Okay, and now learning how to do this is going to take a lot of time, like learning how to do it smoothly. But I recommend when you're just start starting out, uh, you're going to make sure to keep your hands really close to each other just to develop the smooth flow, because for a while the spring's gonna be something like this, okay? But as you develop a more smooth spring, when you're springing your, the cards right next to each other, then you can start to add distance, and then soon enough you'll be able to do just a regular spring. Okay, so for the actual catching of the cards, it's not really a technique in its own, it's more of something that develops over time, which is why I recommend springing the cards very close to each other when you start, like this. Because if your spring is uh, really uneven and, and not flowing like this, it's gonna make it really difficult to catch the cards from a greater distance. So make sure that you have a really f um, smooth flowing spring from a short distance like this. Therefore, when you move to a greater distance, catching the cards, will be pretty easy because they're landing pretty much directly on top of each other. Okay, so that was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.